Okay, it's March 20th. Today is the day where I always start checking the cows at least once a day, start checking for signs of calving. For those of you that have been following along, I've been watching the heifers and the red Angus cows that we bought for the last week. So now it's time to actually start checking all of our purebred Barzona herds. So let's go see what we got. was a 4-H project a couple years ago. She's one of the more friendly cows that we have around to deal with. We'll keep an eye on her as we go. Starting to get some other development there, but not anywhere close to being springy around the tail head. So she's starting to think about it, but we still got a ways to go. Some slight underdevelopment, but nothing that is screaming impending due date. Got a little more bag, a little more spring tour than the other two that we've seen today. My co-part has arrived. The tag cow is M23. She is actually a 2006 model cow. Definitely one of the oldest that we have around. Replacement quality all the time, and her daughters produce the same way she does every year. No fail. She does have a daughter in this pasture. On this
got some fill to it. She's got some edema going, but she looked like this for basically a month last year before she actually calved, so I'm probably not going to get too excited. <laughs>
starting to get a little bit of utter development. And I will admit she is good at hiding that she is pregnant. I would have swore last year she was open and turned around and she was the first one to count. So. next one that I'm going to anticipate calving. It's had a lot of utter development over the last couple of days. She is an old girl. Her bag's not in the best shape anymore, but finally starting to get some edema, some loosening around the tail head. It's kind of hard to see as thin as some of these girls are, but if you look for that dip in between the tail end of that pelvic bone and the tail head there. So she is going to be probably my next, next bet on who's going to calve. Looking at her today, she's only had some movement of that rib, almost like baby start to move up. see what I'm talking about here where we're no longer clear down here with that belly we're starting to get set in a little bit up this way